a fairy. I'm a pirate. I'm a princess. When she was three, I was directing a play, and she stepped on the stage all by herself. It gives her a lot of joy, and she doesn't have to focus on the hurt and the pain. She can smile. When someone looks at me, they wouldn't know anything was wrong. Because of their shape, sickle cells don't live as long as normal red blood cells do. We got the diagnosis that Jazz had sickle cell SS. We were informed that she would only have a life expectancy of about 25. I did not accept that she had a life sentence. I got custody of Jazz when she was three, and I became not only her grandmother who was raising her, but her full-time caregiver. When the pain hits with the sickle cell, it is excruciating. It feels like something's just like stabbing me. Sometimes I feel like I can't move. What I wasn't prepared for was the pain that we have to endure when she's suffering because you can't make it go away. I chose UCSF Children's Hospital here in Oakland because they have the best sickle cell program in the world. The nurses and the doctors, everybody that touches your child, they really treat the children like they care about them makes a big difference because she's not scared. Dr. Mars is like one of my favorite doctors. She's always very nice and she always comes to see all of my productions that I'm in. I was never trained to be a caregiver. I felt alone, but UCSF has given me the tools I needed to take care of my granddaughter as best we can. My hope and my prayer for Jazz's future is that she beats this thing. She's going to be a survivor. When I grow up, I used to just want to be an artist. Now, I want to be a doctor and an artist. <laughs>